Going into the final round, Vladislav Artemyev leads the Gibraltar Masters. A very dynamic game between David and Vladislav. We've got the players with us in our studio. David, it looked fine for Black, but then Rook 8. What happened? Uh, okay, I was outplayed. Vladislav played very well. And uh, when I played Bishop G4, I haven't realized that after Bishop F3, Bishop takes F3, there was E takes F, there was E takes F3. After which I could have pro could have had problems with my weak white squares, so I played Bishop H3 instead. Even though I understood that white could have sacrificed uh, an exchange, and my original intention was to take on F1 and play Queen G5, uh, trying to provoke Knight E4 in order to play Queen E7 and occupy the A file. Uh, but uh, I miss that white could uh, reply with uh, Bishop D5, threatening. Uh, to take on f7 with the queen. Uh, so I had to defend passively. And then I believed my position to be very unpleasant because my queen was pl poorly placed on a7. Uh, so I tried this rook a8. It's a pity that it didn't work a move earlier because there was knight e4 instead of uh, the immediate capture on a8. And I would have had some problems with my king on g8 in view of some bishop takes a8, queen takes a8, rook b8 check in some lines. So in the game, I believed it would allow me to uh, Simplify the position and achieve a uh, worse but tenable position, but I miscalculated. I tried to get some, generate some chances with e4, but it didn't work out. You know, it's really interesting because after you won the exchange on f1, David, it looked like black was doing fine, at least the computers liked the position, even though white has a lot of compensation. But you felt it was very unpleasant already for black? It was very unpleasant for black indeed, no matter what computer says about it. But uh, okay, perhaps it was tenable, I sh should have uh, uh, sit and uh, waited somehow, but okay, it's not pleasant and uh, white can try to improve his position, whereas black has no active plan because uh, playing something like f5 would have weakened, weakened my position. Right, and now going into the final round, you will probably have the white pieces. Um, how do you estimate your chances? What will be your approach? Okay, it depends on whether I really get to white pieces or not, because I had four times white, four times black, so I'm not really sure, and we will see. Okay. We wish you the very best for tomorrow, David. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. You are Vladislav, a critical victory going into the final round today against David Navarra. Tell us what happened. Uh, good evening. Uh, today I played with David Navarro from Czech Republic. He is a very creative player and uh, have uh, many interesting ideas in the opening. So um, I, uh, before the game, I don't know what opening will be today. So uh, I choose uh, knight f3, g3 and uh, double fianchetta. It's uh, anti-Grunfeld. Uh, Okay, David, uh, do surprise for me because I, I not uh, waiting this line and not looks uh, many times. I feeling that it's uh, maybe full compensation for me. Uh, more practical game, so I I was impossible in good, good emotions in this moment. Uh, it's. Uh, I think that it's uh, not big risk for me because I feeling that if I do start uh, not bad, uh, not not good moves, I can do draw in the game because I have a good PS. Probably my opponent can play it as uh, more defending. Uh, example, f5 something this. Uh, but uh, he shows a strange move, rook a8, uh, very uh, ambitious, but very risky also. And uh, also, I very long calculate my move bishop a8, but if I understand, it's the uh, uh, strongest way for me. Uh, when you have uh, uh, not uh, many time on the clock, it's not easy, so I'm happy. Yeah. I was just going to ask, Vladislav, tell us, how do you feel after this win? 
Okay, before this game, I understand that uh, if I not win today, I, I will have uh, black pieces tomorrow. So it's uh, uh, other aspects, uh, not only chess. It's a nervous system and emotions, good sleeping. So I planning today to uh, do uh, many trying for win. And, uh, but, but okay, and I also understand that David is... Uh, a very very strong player and uh, when he have a good emotions he can play it uh, very uh, creative so uh, it's not easy yeah right so very good practical decision on your side now going into the final round you're you've got a half point lead um, your feelings about tomorrow will you have a more safety first approach uh, okay, after this one, I lead in tournament uh, without uh, uh, other players, but uh, uh, our uh, different uh, only half point, so it's not big. And if uh, I correctly remember, I was yellow graph uh, one today, and maybe other guys. Mm, so, okay, exactly, I, I will play it uh, black. So, I think that uh, I was um, more, more safety, but, but I do not. Maybe I will play with ag aggressive style opponent. So, okay, I, I will shoot, but uh, uh, most question it's uh, good sleeping today, uh, not preparation because uh, next round will be uh, 11 a.m. So it's uh, early, very. That's very good advice, that before the last round to get as much rest as possible and to have more energy. Uh, yes, I agree. Energy is very important for the last round. Uh, so players must uh, uh, train not only chess and physical culture. So. You're half point ahead, but you have many players who are right behind you. Anyone in particular who you feel more comfortable playing against tomorrow? Uh, I am ready to play with uh, every opponent. Uh, it's not a problem for me. Example, before this round, I played uh, with only top players, uh, Vashiela Graf, Nakamura, and Taranyan. And uh, I can say that game with uh, Vashiela Graf and Taranyan is uh, very difficult for me because tomorrow, uh, yesterday, of course, uh, I was uh, without any chances on the win. I, I had a uh, good defending, but uh, it's only draw. So, okay, after to these two players, I am ready. That's a great attitude to be ready uh, to play anyone. We wish you the very best for tomorrow's game, Arzami. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All the best. Yeah. <laughs>